morning, noon, and night. And welcome back to the 10th Generation of People talk show. This ain't a game anymore. This isn't a game. Game is over. This is not a game. Sony ain't playing with you. They don't. They haven't been playing with you. See, if you want to play a game, you get you a Nintendo. If you just want whatever, get your next box. Well, we, this isn't a game. It's not a game. Sony don't play with you. They they don't. When you get when you play a PlayStation game, you're not playing a PlayStation game. Okay. They are not playing with you. You participate. They don't have games. They have interactive media. This greatness is doesn't await. Greatness is here. Out of the three, I highly recommend a PlayStation. Unless you want to go handheld. Then you just have a switch. But you don't need anything else. I wish I could give Sony the money that Microsoft had. And they will we will probably blast off into orbit. They will probably lead the world into a phenomenon. Because this isn't a game anymore. I bought another controller. The other one isn't broke. I just bought one because it was on sale at Best Buy night. I was in uh, San, San, I was in San Diego, California, and then I went to Santa Fe, and I and I went past Best Buy and I pulled in and they had on sale for thirty nine ninety nine, like I won't go buy it. <laughs> so I'm gonna unbox this and continue to tell you why you don't play with something because it's, it's not a game over there. They don't play games. They don't play games. You participate. Okay? They left gaming behind. Microsoft is still trying to figure out what to do. And Nintendo make games. But when you make... See, Sony creates. Okay? They don't even make. They create. And I'm not a... I, I, maybe I'm a fan. I might, might just say I'm a fan. But last generation, I was 360. All the way. Then I got a Wii. And I played there for a while. I didn't. I was on the other side. I didn't. I didn't like Sony. Just simply because I was a Microsoft fan. And I still am a Microsoft fan. I still got a lot of Microsoft products. But this isn't a game anymore. They are not playing with you. When I bought a PlayStation Three, it was because of Dead or Alive. I never. I, before too long, I, I, before I got a PlayStation, I, Dead or Alive was the only game that I know that was highly detailed. You would get vibrant hair, okay? Where the clothes looked like they, you were wearing clothes, okay? The, the graphical, it, real life figures was in the game. It, like, it's just like a woman, she was wearing a dress. The dress came up and down. Look, you can walk in Walmart and you'll see women advertising the lingerie. Get over it. You can walk in Target and see women advertising in lingerie. Get over it. You can walk, damn it, in Best Buy, and you will see women advertising in lingerie. Get over it. You can watch into your local store, around the corner store. You know the one you go to, the convenience store that you go to for convenience? Then you go to the store for convenience, and you conveniently see the women advertising in, in bikinis. If you ain't got over women yet, you ain't never get over. You need to go see a psychiatrist. Get over it. It is not that. It, it is not. It is nothing to be. The, the human body is nothing to be ashamed of. Maybe mine, but like, I don't give a, I don't care. I'm old. I'm, I'm old and I work. I don't care. But other than that, get over it. But, so, but anyway, Dead or Alive was the only game that I know that was actually highly detailed, except for old games like Tofane and uh, Kakuta Kojin that were made on the Xbox original. I, I, I really have gotten used to games just looking plain and barely moving. Maybe some street fighting. It was on the Xbox, I was the Xbox 360. I played all the Xbox 360 games. And then one day, 
I thought Dead or Alive wasn't coming to the Xbox 360. We're going to PlayStation 3. Wherever Dead or Alive go, I go. That's just all it is to it because I like it when, 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 when people create a game, I like it to feel like they put everything into it. And that's what Dead or Alive do. Only a bunch of fun boys got to complain. If you go over there and hear them making funny noises when breath come out there, boing, boing, and all this stuff, that's a fun boy. Just type in this thing, get over it. Go on to the next. Okay? That's just all it is. And I got a PlayStation 3. I could kick myself for all the years I didn't play a PlayStation, okay? I had a PlayStation 2. But I bought all the games for the Xbox. I stopped playing the PlayStation 2. And I just do I was just doing Xbox and then the PlayStation 3. The place I, I I couldn't believe it. I almost cried. <laughs> I think that one of the first games that I played, because I had got I had got it maybe, maybe once they advertised Dead or Alive 5 going on to the PlayStation. I, it was automatic. I just had to get a PlayStation. I got a PlayStation 3. They were going to say, I got a PlayStation 3 Slim. I, I wasn't going to pay no $500, $600 for no PlayStation. Probably not even for Dead or Alive. Okay. But it, it, it was it, it was down to a reasonable price, like two fifty dollars then when I bought it. And I think the first game I played was Heavenly Sword and Time Blade. Time Blade was a regular game, but Heavenly Sword was good. I was like, wow. This game is real good, and people was talking about it. It's just a toned down version of, of of God of War. I picked up God of War. There was no turning back. It's not a game anymore. Then I played Uncharted. This isn't a game. The PlayStation 3 was in the game system. I realized after years of playing Xbox and Nintendo, I was playing games. I was so ready to stop playing games. And then I made PlayStation. And you think the name PlayStation they were playing with you, they were they weren't playing with me. Then I played Heavy Rains and I was to realize I was a part of this. I am participating the detail in these games it's blasphemy to call it a game you can't call this a game don't call this a game this is not a game you, they're not playing with you if you want if you want to play a game you get yourself a Nintendo you don't get yourself a PlayStation it may say PlayStation because it's just that's what they started off as a game but they have evolved. this is evolution I'm I'm gonna get a pro. I'm not really thinking about getting a a, 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 a Xbox. It's Microsoft got to prove that they're gonna make a game for the team first. I don't care how powerful the system is. Make a game for it. None of who's make games for. It? You have to detail this. They don't even detail anything. One of the highest rated game games game that might come through there is is probably a NetherRealm game. And everybody knows NetherRealm don't detail nothing. They just paint it on there and say here. Rip the head off. It's Batman by it. This is all they say. And this looks different. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller than the other one. Oh, well. So the point is, greatness awaits. It's just, but the only waiting it's doing is waiting on you. <laughs> I may say, maybe I am a fan, fanboy now. I don't know. It, it, but I want to share in the joy. This is the system to get. All that's left now is a handheld. You want a handheld, get a switch. Okay. I would say get a PlayStation, PlayStation Vita, which is very, which is, which is very, this is an excellent piece of hardware. But this is one of the places where Sony went wrong. First of all, the main thing that really killed this system was. Because I, I can't say anything else about this. It, you, you're not gonna, you, you're not gonna find a better, compelling, interactive media because I can't call it a game. All I can call it is interactive media. Okay, it's nothing bad to say. 
they know what they're doing. I just wish they had the money Microsoft had. But then I'd be scared of that because we're probably on planes and in in, in in space space stations for real. <laughs> See, it's the thing about Sony before I get into this. They're billionaires, but they're not like billionaires you see around here. The billionaires around here, they all they want to do is make more money. Which they can't make money. They gotta just they, they can only generate revenue. But Sony are billionaires and they want to take those hands of theirs and create something. What's the purpose of having all the money when you're gonna die? And somebody's gonna take it from you. You're gonna lose it anyway, it doesn't matter. So why not make something? And that's what Sony do. They make, they create. It's nothing else. You want it is it's nothing else to do. I'm looking at this right here and I'm like, the day I put that PlayStation 3 controller in my hand, I was been, I've been blown away here since it's not, it, it's, the, it, it's, it's the place to be, except for Street Fighter Five. They screwed that completely. I hear, I hear now Sony's about to make their own fighting game. You should. Sony, you, you are you are best when you make first party stuff. Don't let somebody screw you up, because just Capcom screws you. They make they're releasing these new characters, and it doesn't even blend in with the game. And it, they don't even blend in with the game. If you play survival mode, which the only mode they left for single player, they're not even being added to single mode. They don't even fight. They don't even show up. They just pretty much thumbed everybody. And they thumb not only us in the app, but they thumb Sony in the app for it. I guess they retaliated against Sony. But then again, I think it's a curse. I call it the Street Fighter curse. Every odd Street Fighter they make don't do well. Street Fighter 1 didn't do well. Street Fighter 2 blew everybody's pants with Street Fighter 3. People didn't care about Street Fighter 4. It was amazing. Everybody bought it. Street Fighter 5. They're back in their curse. I think it's the Street Fighter curse. That's what I call the Street Fighter curse. And you, don't, you don't mess with Street Fighter on an odd number. They just screwed it completely up. I mean, and they should have been ashamed. But like I see. The only reason I buy Capcom products anyway is because of Street Fighter. Since they didn't make a good Street Fighter, we have to buy Capcom anymore. But in, but that was the only mistake that this made. And they were just relying on a third party company. They should have did that. They should have, because Sony just don't, simply just didn't have a fight in them. They should make their own fight in them. That's what I believe they should do. And I know it's going to be good. Or they should have, or they should get, or they should get Tecmo to do it for them. But anyway. This was another mistake that Sony has made, and it, and it was only simple because Sony didn't open their mouth. They sat there and didn't say anything about these. Did you know you can play all your music on this this device right here, on this video? You can play all your music, and you can play videos on here. I mean, you can actually download the videos and watch them, and YouTube and everything else. Sony, no one never knew. I sold. I don't know about eleven of these if I can remember. You know, I I, I when I get to town, I go to games and people be asking, they ask about them, and I was like, they was like the, the uh, memory card is kind of high, but I told them you can, you can play all your music and you play videos on there too. You can play music and yeah, music videos and movies. I mean, real movies, the whole entire movie. You can just download it to the system. It blew them away. They all liked it. All they had, all Sony had to do was open their mouth. Sony didn't open their mouth. They sit there. They sit there on their hands talking about the game. But then they, then they didn't make any game for it. Platforming games are the number one games when it comes to handhelds. And I didn't see any platformers on here. Not many at all. Sony really didn't do just. This was an amazing machine. Sony just didn't open their mouth. It would have sold. They just didn't open their mouth. So I hope they didn't. I, I hear they're gonna make another handheld. First of all, the memory cards are over. Okay. Those highs, it's finished. It's through. You can't keep you, you you can't milk that anymore. It's gone. It's been gone since pretty much the PlayStation Two. Okay, I know you want to relive the old glory days of the PlayStation One and everybody buying these big stacks of memory cards. It's over. Let it go, and the system will fly. Tell people what the system can do, and have it be able to communicate with the PlayStation Four, and that system would destroy even the Switch. But if Sony sit there and don't say nothing, like they did with this, and keep their mouth closed, and act like they don't know what the heck is going on, it, it, it pretty much would be no reason to even make it. Make sure it can communicate with the PlayStation 4. Tell people that it can play music, and tell people that it can play your videos. 
that you buy off the PlayStation Store. Your movies and your movies and TV shows off the PlayStation Store, and you will have no problem. I guarantee you, and make platformers for it. If you don't have any platformers for that next hand in your system, don't do it. The video game industry is thoughtful. Everybody love platforms they always have. Even when even when gaming industry got flooded with platforms, people were still playing platforms. They never went down. Don't let platformers down. As you can see now, they got God, I forgot the name of the character that just came out. But anyway. People are starving for platforms. And if you put the crash, that's the name of it. Why, why did my brain freeze up? I don't understand. But anyway, you see people, how they buy a crash. People want platforms. Nintendo stole 13 million Wii U's off of platforms. That's the same place Microsoft went wrong. Microsoft got, a, got an army of platforms. And wouldn't make, won't make none of them, and everybody won't. You go and remake a platform because you stop making because Sony stop making platforms, and it flies off the shelf because it's starving for it's starving for turn-based RPGs. It's starving for those Japan those, those Japanese stories. It's starving for those Breath of Fire. It's the gaming industry is starving for this stuff. If you just make them. But see, Sony is so big that this is not a game system anymore, I'm telling you. I've been blown away with Sony for a long time. I'm kicking myself. When it, this generation, this PlayStation 4 was the first game system I bought. When it came out, I, I pre-ordered it and I paid it down like I do all my systems because I'm cheap. And I won't just go in there and just buy a system. <laughs> I'm just telling you how it is. I wait for them to go on a pre-order. When they go on a pre-order, it's like I got a PlayStation Pro 4 now on pre-order for the Destiny 2 bonus. I'm going to pay it off. That's how I do it. Because, like I said, it's easier on me to just pay it off. I'm not a, I'm a choice man. I'm not a rich guy. I don't proclaim to be rich. I ain't trying to proclaim to be rich. I ain't just going to and throw hundreds out like that because I can't. But what it is, what it is, this isn't a game anymore. Sony is not playing with you. They're not playing with anybody. They ain't been playing. You've been participating. Okay, you've been in interactive media. Sony games are detailed as such. I was playing Uncharted, and I was looking at Nathan Drake's hair, and I could see the split ends on his hair. That's how detailed their games are. Microsoft won't detail nothing, and Nintendo just to make it. They make a compelling game. One thing about Nintendo, they they're not really heavy into detailing every little thing dotting as across the T. But their characters are made. Their characters are designed in a way where they're lovable and huggable. Now, Microsoft don't do that. They just throw their stuff together and say, "Here." But Sony, everything is detailed. I mean, sometimes. I mean, when I play Until Dawn, I'm looking at. Well, I didn't. I didn't play. I bought Until Dawn, but I watched the Let's Play of Until Dawn, and I'm just looking at these characters like, "Wow." I mean, <laughs> you don't. You don't play a Sony game. You participate. And as far as me watching Let's Plays, I watch a lot of Let's Plays. A Let's Play, I wish I'd put this on, on, on my on my Switch review, but as it's such it is, as it's such it is, a Let's Play don't determine whether I play a game or not, or whether I buy it. It just, I just like the voices of the people there sometimes. Or sometimes I just want, I just like just sitting there just watching the game. If I'm gonna buy a game, I'm gonna buy a game. This is all it is too. If I'm gonna buy some interactive media, I'm gonna buy some interactive media. Nothing's gonna deter me from it if I'm gonna get it. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I ain't, I ain't. And it still comes back to Sony. This is the most well-rounded system out here. It this is this is the only one that can be recommended. The other, if you buy Microsoft games and shoot them in the head, kill them to they dead, and it's Nintendo if you want to play a game. Okay? But if you want interactive media, this isn't a game. It's not a game system. They just got PlayStation. Okay, hey, that's what it was born from. This is the evolution of gaming right here. So when the PlayStation 3 came out, they said it right. It doesn't move on until they say it moves on. That's the truth.
But anyway, this is pushing that limit. I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm getting that limit. So Christmas season is coming up. I would say PlayStation. That's the only that's that's the only really option you have out there. Microsoft needs to get their stuff together. Microsoft is in it for the money. And the money on. Nintendo is in it to make a compelling game. They want to make a challenging and compelling game. Sony is in it for experience. Okay? They want to bring the best experience to you. They want to do do Nintendo and, and Sony want to make money like Microsoft? Yeah. Duh. But they don't thumb you in the face like Microsoft. They just we just in it to make money. They're in it to you take those hands and create worlds, okay? If you want quality, it's PlayStation. When it comes to the other two, I can recommend Xbox if you want a shooting game. I can I can recommend Nintendo if you want a platforming game. You just want a straight game with barely any story. You just want a game. It's Nintendo. But if you want a story, you want an experience. You want an adventure. You want to add, you want to know that you spent your money on something. Okay. It's PlayStation. This isn't a game anymore. This is all it is to it. Ten generation of people. I've been playing games for thirty years. And I've been playing interactive media since Dead or Alive Five came out. This is the only system for everybody. Because you're gonna get something here. If you're a fun boy, they got their body armor games and the games where you <laughs> okay. But if you are an average person like me who can put a processor in a computer, you know, graphics card, you know, you can change your oil, you can put a starter in, you know, you know how to do stuff, you can do things. Sony is for you. This is all it is to it. You're not I'm not a nerd. I just I yeah, I can, I, I can strip this computer down. I can strip, I can strip a motor down too. I just know how to do stuff. Don't make me a nerd just because I can strip a, a, a PC down and put it back together. I can't make, I can't make the components in there, but I can put them back together. If, now, and if you're that type of person that you don't pee your pants when people talk about breasts, okay? They don't, they don't have bare really, something a hand, a small hand for a, a nudity. But just because something do something that like like breasts bounce in real life, you see it every day. Where every time a woman steps, you see them run bounce. I mean, if you ain't got over that, something's wrong with you. Really, if you haven't gotten over that, something's wrong with you. Okay, and I really need to stop looking at this screen in the back. <laughs> I just noticed myself looking down at this screen. But anyway, parents that are looking for games like this, hey, they got crashed. What I would say, what I, what I would say, Sony would do, I would re-release all of Ratchet and Crank and Sky and, and, and Sly Fox, and then come back with remakes and like like it's nobody's business. You see what people want? We want remakes. We want we want to see the old games we love in old glory and in their full glory. And as I close, <clears throat> Sony don't make any more uh, headphones. I bought the silvers and the silvers look way worse. This just broke one day. I just pulled it out the little case they gave me and it just broke. I wound up getting these. And I like these. This, this is a very sturdy. These are turtle beaches and they are very great. Yeah, I really like that those goals, but $100. And I don't know why they would use this type of material. That's another thing. That's the only other thing that I would say that's bad about Sony. It, the quality of their headphones sound real good, but break. <laughs> and I don't, and I'm not rough with my stuff. Like I said, I'm. I am not rough with my stuff. Okay. 
this is 30 years old. This is mine. The, the, the first one I ever had. Okay. Okay. I am not rough with my stuff. Even though I'm to put it on the floor. But anyway. This isn't a game. Really. There's nothing else I can really say. If you're not buying a PlayStation, you don't need a heavy graphics card. You don't need you don't need a you don't need a power. If they're not gonna make a game for it, why? There's no reason. I believe Sony can just take this and they can just take this for the next five years. And there's nothing Sony or Nintendo it's, not, it's nothing Nintendo or Microsoft will be able to do to stop. But this is 10 generation of people. I don't run this almost 30 minutes. I hope somebody stay around for it. But anyway, just turn it on and listen to it. Thank you very much for listening. I'm going to hit back on the road in about an hour. And I'll see you when I get off the road.